video is brought to you today by Ghost Tags. This is my own company that I started because I wanted a glow in the dark air tag case. These things are awesome. You can stick them on your backpack, on your dog's collar, and you will be able to find it at night. We've got two colors, blue and green. They've got great reviews. Go check them out. Links to them down below. Now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, we're going to do a quick review of iOS 16.2 for the iPhone. And I'm gonna let you all know if you should update now or if you should wait. But I think first we should go over the new features and then you can decide for yourself if it seems like it is a good update for you. So one of the first new features that I think a lot of people will like is called Freeform. Now what Freeform allows you to do is to collaborate with other people in real time on an infinite canvas. I could just keep zooming out on this and uh, I could have friends in here. I could invite them to basically mark up whatever they want. So if we were thinking of designs for maybe a t-shirt logo or something, we could put it in here. A website design, we could put it in here. It's honestly pretty endless with what you could do. So you, if I just hit the pen tool here, I can start drawing another smiley face. I can hit done and it saves it. I can also go down here to a text box, double tap to enter text, put emojis, put whatever I want. I think this is gonna be cool for small groups like maybe startup companies, stuff like that. I don't think any big companies are gonna be using this, but I could see some schools trying to implement Freeform into something. I'm not entirely sure how they do it, but you can put photos, anything you want, you can stick on this canvas. And I think that's really cool. So check that out. That's the first thing that's new. Now, the next new thing is just a couple of medication reminders uh, that you can put on the lock screen. So they're little widgets. So those are new and they are coming. So that's what they're gonna look like. So if that's something you care about, Hey, there you go. All right, now something that I think most of you guys are gonna want to uh, at least try is the new always on display options within the settings app. So if you scroll down, go to display and brightness, scroll all the way down until you see always on display. So you can see right here, obviously you can still toggle on the always on display if you want it on or off, but there's a new section down here called it show wallpaper and show notifications. If I don't want it to show the wallpaper when I lock my phone, it's going to be a completely blacked out display, just like how Android does it. Uh, with their always on displays. Whoops, didn't mean to do that, but there it is. Very interesting. If you want something that's more subdued, maybe you kept thinking that your phone was on uh, when it was just your dimmed wallpaper, uh, that is something you can change. And then of course, you don't have to show notifications either. If you just want a completely blank, no notifications, you can toggle that on and off as well. And of course you can mix and match these. This one can be off, this one can be on. They can both be off, totally up to you. I really like that Apple is giving us this granularity with the always on display, big props to them. But the next change I am not super happy with. So let's talk about that. Now the next change kind of has to do with China. Uh, Apple went ahead and listened to the Chinese government and first implemented this there uh, where the airdrop receiving for everyone is no longer allowed to be set for everyone. It's only allowed for everyone for 10 minutes. Now the theory is that China asked Apple to remove the everyone feature because a lot of protesters were um, sending information to each other that way. So they set it to 10 minutes only to basically inconvenience all of the public people that were trying to protest. I don't know how true that is, but there could be some truth to that. But unfortunately, Apple has also now brought that to the, to America, probably to make it seem like that wasn't the reason that they did it because it looks kind of bad for Apple to be bending over backwards for China, but they continue to do that nonetheless. Everyone for 10 minutes, that's now the only option. And then it reverts back to contacts only. Me personally, I keep it off at all times just because of security, privacy, and battery reasons. But for you, if you wanna keep it on contacts, that's totally cool, but you can no longer change it to everyone forever. You'll have to keep enabling this. Apple should definitely allow us the option for the time limit. So I think it should say everyone, and then there should be a little scroll wheel to set how long you want. Maybe you want it forever. Maybe you want it for five minutes. That's what they should do. Let's move on to the next. The next one I can't really show you, but if you have the Apple TV app, you can now get live scores on the lock screen of your phone at the bottom, kind of like this one, but with the Apple TV app. So that's something that's coming as well. So be on the lookout if you care about that. In the same vein, there is a new option to allow more frequent updates for live activities. Apple does warn it could drain your battery a little more, but they will update these a little bit faster if you want. Me personally, I think it's just fine the way it is, but hey, to each their own. If you've got an Uber coming, you want it to be updated ASAP. So that might be something you want. And lastly, another thing I can't really show you is the home app has been improved. The underlying architecture has been uh, completely revamped. So it should be better performing as well as a little bit faster. Now, a couple minor tidbits. I believe there will be some security updates for you guys as well. So when you do update, you will get those. On top of that, there is code uh, to stop the unintentional SOS uh, calling because uh, some people, when they got on a roller coaster or went skiing, their iPhone 14s were actually calling emergency services thinking that they had been in a crash. So Apple has been tweaking this. 
and when you get this update, it should fix a lot of that. And lastly, if you are in India and you have an iPhone 12 or newer, you should have access to 5G networks in India. Uh, so that is something that they've included. But that's pretty much it, guys. Now, of course, I should answer the question, should you guys update to iOS 16.2? And the answer is absolutely yes. I have not found any major issues so far with this software that were not in previous software. So overall, this is a net win for everyone. So go ahead and update. How could I forget? The most important change to this entire update is actually in settings. So if you go all the way back and you go to your iCloud, and if you scroll all the way down, you should see a new option called advanced data protection. Now, if you turn this on, Apple will actually end-to-end -end encrypt all of these on iCloud, which is super cool. Uh, that's the reason I never used backups or iMessages in the cloud. I never used any of that uh, before because it was not end-to-end -end encrypted, which meant that Apple or law enforcement could go into the cloud and basically get your data. They could read your messages. It was not good. So uh, creepy and definitely an invasion of privacy, or at least it was possible. Now it should not be possible. Now there's more to come on this because we need to really vet this and make sure that this is really doing what it says it will. But if this is true, this is huge for Apple and end-to-end -end encryption is awesome. So me personally, of course I will be enabling this, but you'll wanna read through that on your own. But this is coming in iOS 16.2 and it should roll out through the end of the year. So you might not be able to enable it right away. Anyways, that is all for this iOS 16.2 review. Very good update, highly recommend it. If you liked the video, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos because we've got a lot more coming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.